Thank you, thank you more. Thank you more. You're welcome, man. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're having an awesome day. Starting off today's vlog at the one and only beautiful Sisua Beach, as you guys already see. This is one of my last couple of days here in the Dominican Republic. I've been here almost three months, going back home in the next few days and we are just trying to get as much beach time as possible. We're not doing any more work for the main channel, just vlog stuff and how is this beach looking today, bro? It's good. It's very busy. Well, it's Sunday. Mm -hmm. Sunday is Sunday fun day for the locals, so it gets extra busy here on Sundays. But it's not that big. Like, it's busy way down there, bro. There's like a million people. But over here, this is the, the chill area. I like it here. Hang on. Are you taking a shit? You taking a shit? No, no, no. Don't pee! Get away from me, you disgusting. I'm here! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so later on throughout this vlog, I'm gonna be doing some snorkeling. Last time that I was here, I found a big turtle. I swam right up to it. That was really cool. Today I'm hoping I can find like a stingray. Um, although it's rare to see them here, I have seen them on my beach in my neighborhood, but never here. So hopefully I can see it like a stingray, maybe a dolphin. Apparently dolphins come out here sometimes too. But yeah guys, this is my last couple of days that we have out here in the DR. We're gonna miss this. I'm, I'm gonna miss this a lot, that's for sure. But I also miss my, my kids and my wife a lot, so I cannot wait to get back. I just wanna get it out of the way. I wish I could just close my eyes and wake up and be home. Because it is sad leaving this place, especially after being here for almost three months. I've gotten used to everything here. And back home, it's a little bit cold still. I don't think there's any more snow. It's completely melted, which is a good thing. No, but it's going to be cold at night, man. It's going to be cold, yeah. I'm looking forward to filming late at night. Yeah, yeah. I do kind of miss filming like in the haunted forests of Canada. Like the forests in Canada are different than here. The jungles here are cool, but the forests back home or back in Canada are pretty awesome. I miss those. I miss the abandoned explorations that I've done in North America. They're they're always different. There's different elements. Like I like the abandoned resorts that I've been filming out here, but they just kind of get repetitive. You know what I mean? So it's always good to change things up a little bit. I'm not complaining. I'm thankful for everything that I have and for being able to be here for three months at a time. But I do kind of miss both parts here and there. The adventure underwater begins. I hope you guys are ready for this one because what I found underneath this water is absolutely beautiful. Check out this cool sand dollar. Oh, hello there little fishies. Now at first, after diving to Sua Beach today, I really thought I wasn't going to see anything cool because it just looked kind of empty and bare. We have a little couple of big sea urchins over here. These things are massive and if they prick you, it's gonna hurt. I've been pricked by one of those before. God, I love doing this. I absolutely love being underwater. Now this guy is pretty weird. I've never seen a fish that's green and blue. Let me know in the comments below if you guys know what that fish is called. So eventually I started to see a whole group of fish swimming along. I'm like, hmm, let's follow these guys. Maybe they're gonna lead me to somewhere completely different and completely new. And they did just that. I had to go back up for another breath. Um, usually I stay down there for about a minute and a half before I have to get some more oxygen. This guy is so cool. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep following that whole school of fish. Also, yet again, again, I don't know what these fish are called. I don't know the names of them. I just know them as the blue fish. That's what I call them, the little blue guys. And they're all pretty blue, as you guys can see. Wow, there's so many of them. And the funny thing is, is none of these fish were afraid of me. They all were just chilled. They're like, hey, follow us, Mo Sarji. Look at how cool that looks. Even narrating this for you guys, it's just making me so excited right now. Found this big piece of coral. There's another sea urchin in there. Usually there's like things living in this, but all there was was a sea urchin this time. Again, I am still following those fish, trying to see where they're gonna go. They led me to this other reef over here. This one was pretty cool because it's just like on its own. It looks pretty different. It wasn't that deep in this area, but we will get deeper. Wait and see. Oh. This is 
the manager of the reef didn't like me kept trying to bite me like that <laughs> he's literally attacking the camera he did not want me to be there how funny is that he's like get the heck out of my home man so what did i do is i antagonized him some more because i really wanted to get a close-up with this guy look at him look at that face <laughs> and then he realized he's like oh man my tactics aren't working anymore the camera is not afraid of me so he kind of backed down a little bit but it's pretty cool though look at the blue spots on that fish another sand dollar right there a yoink check out that beautiful vip little yacht there i think it's pretty interesting all right, moving along, I kind of lost the fish at this point. I'm like, hmm, where do they go? Maybe I should just go keep going like the direction I was going. Maybe I would find them. I found a lot of emptiness and then bam, a lot of rocks. Definitely a lot of sea urchins again. I decided to shove my camera into these guys. I don't know why, but they're pretty cool. I, I, hear, I hear they're really tasty to eat the insides of them, but I've never actually tried it before. I found myself a nice buoy over here. I hope you guys have been enjoying the snorkeling shots that I've been filming under here. I'm like way out there. As you guys can see, there's a lot of fish in here today, which I'm very, very surprised. A lot of sea urchins, those big black things, those spiky things. Those are sea urchins. I've seen a lot of those, seeing a lot of fish. But I haven't seen any turtles or dolphins or anything like that. Hopefully I can find something. I really want to be able to find some turtles, maybe a stingray. Let's go back in and look some more. All right, my first starfish. It's missing a leg. Somebody's either messed with it or something tried to eat it. So as I kept going past this buoy, I discovered a rocky area. So this is an area that I've never been to before. I've never swam here. In certain parts, it looks kind of shallow. And by shallow, I mean like 8, 10 feet. And then you have like a 25 foot drop, which is what you're looking at right now, which is what I'll swim down to. Ooh. It's pretty interesting because the only reason why I even found this, because usually I would have just gone out to the depth into the deep blue like I usually do. But the only reason why I found all this is because I followed that school of fish. And you guys will see how crazy it is out here. Like I found a cannon, as you can see up ahead, there's like a cannon. And then there's this cave over here that is just full of fish. Like there's hundreds of them. Wow, look at all that fish. Let me know in the comments below if you guys can name each and every fish that I've seen. Check out this canyon, you guys. It doesn't look that deep here, but that was like almost 30 feet deep. Wow, that is absolutely insane. Look at the way that looks. All the fish coming in and out. I'm kind of on top of it right now because I'm still trying to assess to see what's around. There's that school of fish that led me to the canyon. They were actually here. So if it wasn't for these guys, these little homies over here, which kind of kind of changed in color, but that 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 is them. Um, these guys led me to the spot. Like look at this little shelf here. There's hundreds, maybe thousands of fish inside of this. They're all just chilling there, coming in and out. This is like the mecca of fish. All right, so I decided to go back through that canyon. I wanted to get some cool shots right from the bottom. Um, it was kind of hard because it is really deep and it's a lot of pressure on your head, especially when you don't have any oxygen gear with you. But it's okay, I can manage it. I'm a professional, sort of. Look at all the fish just coming in and out. I wish I could have spent more time through this canyon, but wow. These guys don't even care that I'm there. They're just chilling. They're probably used to people coming in and snorkeling. Oh, there's a sea urchin above my head. That would have sucked if I hit that thing. Did another round, another go through this little canyon. By the way, I was fighting a current while swimming through that. You can see all the sand blowing everywhere. Now here, this is really interesting. This is something I've never seen here on Sasua Beach. This is an entire coral um, recreation area. Like they basically set it up and they've put coral down there. All right, that was really, really cool. Big cave down there, big canyon. Um, 
very deep, probably like 25 feet deep, full of fish. There's a lot of fish down there. And right beneath me is an entire coral restoration project, is what I'm thinking. They're trying to regrow the coral here, which is pretty freaking awesome. My head is hurting me. I went a little bit too deep, but yeah, that was, uh, that was worth it. All right, check it out. You got all the tables with all the coral that was placed there by men. You know, I guess they've taken them from other parts of the ocean. Now, all this is meant for is to recreate coral and grow more of it. At first, I thought these were like traps, but it was just more coral. They're trying to grow more of it in the area. As you can see, the entire area is actually really sandy. There's nothing else but that big cluster of coral that I filmed. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Check out that palm tree that's just randomly in the water. All right, let's head back to land. Well, guys, I ended up on this side of the beach. You gotta walk all the way back down there to where Angela is, near the beginning. But it's so pretty out here. The coral here is amazing. This side of the beach was definitely busier than the side that we were staying at. Like there are like hundreds of people here, which is pretty cool. I like seeing a beach that's packed and full of people enjoying their time, having fun. So I decided to just kind of like have a little time lapse. And then I spot this guy. What the heck is he doing to that lady? All right, let's just keep going. Jumping into the day, I think. I've gone deaf in my left ear. Um, I was going really, really deep, and I think I got a lot of water in my ear today on the beach. All right, so here's the thing. I'm gonna try to vlog while I'm suffering right now, but I got a little mission to put together right now, okay? And today's mission is round up any food that is still good and brand new and give it to Alex because, you know, we have one full day or two full days left tomorrow and then the day after is a travel day, but I'm leaving at nighttime. So, you know, we have a lot of brand new eggs like that we've never eaten, all this frozen stuff, lots of meats that I've never eaten, and uh, some cheeses and stuff. A lot of brand new stuff that we've never used or even eaten, so I'm gonna give it to Alex. Um, he'll put it to good use. All right, just picked up Alex. Alex is telling me he's going back to Haiti soon. Uh, probably tomorrow. He's gonna attempt to do it. Hey, look at this. I got the man picking out some stuff. We have a lot of leftover clothes and stuff that Shadia wanted to donate for children. You know, Rania's, a lot of Rania's bikinis and Rania's clothes and stuff. And he has kids and family members that he can give these to once he gets back to Haiti. So I'm going to give him one of my bags, one of my suitcases, because I have a bunch of them here. And basically told him anything that he could possibly take. You have kids that would need this? You have kids yeah, that would need kids, these? Yeah. Okay, this is I good. Mean, my cousin have if I like They have babies and stuff yeah. and kids? Okay, good, yes, right. good. Hey, and if you, heck, if you could sell it too, make money, why not? <laughs> the man is stocking up. Look at that, fish sticks. We never even opened this. We got beef short ribs that I never even cooked. I don't have time to cook it now. Burgers, chicken. We got some pastas. Shadia's favorite chocolates. Look at that. Huh? Picture. <laughs> he wants a picture. I love it. <laughs> we got some coconut bites too. Organic coconut bites. There you go. <laughs> we got some little snack bars. Little snack bars for you. Thank you more. Thank you more. You're welcome, man. <laughs> He's making a little video for his for his story. You're welcome. I got you, boys. I'm all cleaned out, you guys. Look at this. Oh, you forgot one thing to put in your luggage. Rice right. in there. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's gonna melt. All right, we managed to give everything to Alex. The man taking everything. Look at that. I love how he's wearing Shadow's hat still. <laughs> Wait, forgot the Nutella. Yeah, you forgot the Nutella. <laughs> we gave him pretty much everything else. Chocolate. I mean, if there's anything else, should we give him the eggs too? Uh, if he can carry them, Are we yeah. ever gonna eat them? Because I don't think we'll ever eat them. I might have some in the morning. We, we've been saying that for a week I straight. I know, but I keep, we keep forgetting All about right. them and get lazy. Whatever, you know? just leave the eggs then. I don't think he needs anything else from here. Like, yeah, that yogurt is probably bad by now. Okay, we got flour. Mm -hmm. Flour, panko, you can panko have that. Breadcrumbs. There you go. Balsamic vinegar that we used literally one time. <laughs> you know what? He can have the chicken breast. I doubt we're gonna eat it. 
Yeah. We're, we're just gonna go to the restaurant. Look at this brand new chicken breast. There you go. We'll Feed the rest of your village. All right, I think we got everything. Gave Alex a whole bunch of stuff that he can use. This will probably be the last time we'll see Alex because he's going to Haiti after this and I don't know if he's ever going to return and we're going back to Canada and I don't know when the next time I'll return here. But well, I'm going to go to Haiti one day soon. I'm going to go to Haiti one day soon, but once it's safe. Yeah, one day when yeah. you know they're not killing each other. When Alex gives us the go ahead to come to Haiti, we're, we're definitely going to go to Haiti. I'm going to take you out of Haiti one day, okay? Yeah. Dude, it's going to be sick. We're going to have so many yeah. adventures. But not now. I don't want to get barbecued. No, I'm not going to have barbecue sauce to do with me. I'm going to have everything <laughs> safe and then we go, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to hire 100%. Hi, doggy. You're always sleeping on the road. This dog literally always sleeps here on the road. My doggy. Looks like he's missing an eyeball. All right, just dropped off Alex to his little uh, shack of a hotel that he's staying in. He is actually going to be heading to Haiti tomorrow. I just gave him a bit of more extra cash just to help him out some more and uh, gave him all that stuff. I don't know how he's going to take all that stuff with him to Haiti, but he's saying he's got family members that will use all the stuff that I gave him and a lot of the food and spices that we gave him, he's gonna make good use of that when he goes to Haiti. So that's really good. I'm happy that all that's gonna go to good use and not get thrown out. Like in this country, you cannot throw nothing out because there's always someone less fortunate than you that, that could actually use it. Like we still have a whole carton of eggs. I doubt we're gonna finish that before we leave. We're probably gonna donate that to maybe like the security guys in the neighborhood before we go. There's always someone you can give something to. It's like a, the saying that they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. In this case, it's not trash, it's food. Um, but a lot of food will go bad. And I don't know how he's planning on taking it with him. Hopefully he eats that stuff quickly before it goes bad. But yeah, man, that's probably the last time we're gonna see Alex for a little while, maybe forever, I don't know. I don't know what's uh, gonna happen in the future. I don't know if I'm gonna come back to the beach house next winter, probably not, I think next winter. We're going to be doing something completely different. All I want to do is go back to North America, start focusing on my YouTube channels and being around my family more. And I just want to like create as much content as I possibly can. Like, yes, I've been doing YouTube for years and years and years, but I feel like I'm only getting started. You know, Layla's growing up. There's more vlogs to come with Layla and, you know, with Rania as well. So I'm happy that each and every one of you guys has been here with my journey for so long. And I hope to see you guys continue um, watching the videos, the main channel stuff, the vlogs for years and years to come. But yeah, man, it's sad. We're not going to see Alex anymore. I absolutely love having him around. He's such a good person, genuine person. And I wish him all the best, honestly. I really do. He's a, he's a really good guy. I am itching for a coconut. I've had like at least one coconut per day for the last like week. This thing just keeps producing more coconuts. I'm gonna get me one right now. Okay, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand on camera and one hand on my stick over here, but let's see if this works out. Oh, God. Please don't hit me in the head. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, it'll get, it'll come. Almost there. Come on, Mr. Coconut. Oh. Woo! <laughs> and that's how you do it. Nice fresh drink. La, 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 la. And just like that, got myself a nice fresh coconut. Oh yeah, she good. In the past, if you guys remember like a few years back, I used to like try to cut the coconuts open with a machete. It would take me forever. But like, you don't even need to do that. Just punch a hole with a screwdriver and a hammer. I didn't even have to use a hammer this time. I just shoved a screwdriver in, made a nice hole, and put my straw right through. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs>